So the, anyway, MMA math is ridiculous. It doesn't work. <laughs> um, and you might be the best example of how it doesn't work. But so you go to this... The, the Mayo Clinic puts you on antidepressants mm -hmm. because, because you just feel like shit. I feel like shit and because like uh, of the, the different endocrine problems that I had, right? So I can't have um, any of the medications that will help that. So I have to be more conservative with it. And one way they thought to do it is because my cortisol levels are really high. They're talking about, um, and I mean, granted, I have a lot of stress, especially right. like... You know, life hasn't been easy these past Single like Single mom, your husband passes away, you're in the it, toughest probably the toughest sport on the planet. Trying Earth. to be the best at it yeah, too. Yeah. So, and you're elite. You're in the top ten. So you're you're in this weird position where you you never know when you're gonna fire to who you're gonna fire. There's a constant amount of, and it's not like you're making millions of dollars doing it either. No. Well, and it's expediting healing for me and and I also have a kid going through what I'm going through. So it's right. not like I get to like split and cut corners and just right. you know, it's like there's maintenance to be done at all times with that. So I go there, they tell me, you know, we could probably lower your cortisol levels if we could lower lower your stress levels, so we'll try antidepressants. And what did that make you feel like? Flat they, as flat. fuck. And like I didn't am I, can, I, can I say fuck on this? Where I, say, okay. yeah. I know I just we didn't know if anything. I have a quota. No, 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 like, no, no. <laughs> before I'm like a bad person. Like we do I get light. added to like a do I get added to a certain no, level? <laughs> there's zero restrictions. You can say whatever you want on the show. Right on, right on. Okay. Okay, so talk um, like there's no one listening. Got it. Okay. Um so yeah, they they put me on they, they made you feel flat. Flat. Which like all that training camp getting ready for Juliana, I'm just like I'm like, okay, I'll, it'll it'll take off in the fight. Like, I'll feel good in the fight. Like, so when like, they say no go out. no adrenaline, up, no... No ups, no downs, oof. no no pissed off, like, want to kill you, no nothing, you know? And So, it, not scared, but not happy? No, and I was like, why am I not nervous the way that I get nervous? Ooh. Like, 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 I was okay, which usually like especially two weeks out i have this like flush of emotions you know where i'm like fetal position in the corner right. like what the fuck right. and then once it's over all i want to do is kill you know but uh like and i didn't have that either it kind of made me nervous because my my other friend barb honcheck we she she's a new 25er um we would always like call each other and laugh at how dumb we were being at that point. Like, this, right. look at me, you know. <laughs> look at me. And, uh, but that was all gone with the yeah. What, what shit did they put you on? Um, what was this one? Oh my gosh. Zoloft, Paxil. Keep going. Um, what, Prozac. What do they have? Uh, do you know any, Jamie? Effexor. Effexor. I don't know that one. Effexor and Jamie's, Jamie's playing stupid over there. He's like, oh no, uh, no crazy no, pills. Never heard of him. He's uh, on everything. <laughs> Twice <laughs> no, a day. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just tic tacs. <laughs> <laughs> he just tries them out. Um, so, so they put you on this stuff, and did they try different ones? Um, no, because. Uh, not a lot of time. Right? There isn't, you know, and and they're looking. I'm like, I need the side. The side effects matter. Like these can't be ones that make me gain a bunch of weight. Right. They can't make me like, like they. I need to still be able to sleep. Like I, I have to be able to have like enough highs and lows to be able to function and learn and and whatever. And so this is like the best they they could have for me. So anyway, I I, I fight that fight with Juliana. You know, I I feel like the first round I came out how I wanted. You know, and then halfway through the second round, like. It was just awful. Like she had my um, old coaches in her corner. You know what's weird about that fight is I could hear you, and I could like I. This is where the flat came in. Is like I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was in the fight. Like I could see Herb Dean's feet, and I could hear you talking about us. And I I saw, like I could hear Juliana's coaches, and it was breaking my heart that they were coaching against me because they were my Colorado gym. And she went and trained with them. And I know she had trained with them previously. So, I mean, before she had taken the fight. But to me, it was, like, f fucked up to hear, you know. Right, and it right. hurt me in a way, like, it's, I wish I could explain it better. But it was, like, I heard them and I just wanted to go home. You know, I look at the clock and I'm, like, can this just be over? I don't want to go back to Colorado. I want to move. Like, and I, I, I literally, on this side of the cage, I had my past in Colorado. I had these coaches. I had the drama with that, with that gym, like, how everything went and and then on this side it was like all new problems like san diego eric and then we're good like there was a lot of training partners there it was sunny it was similar to colorado different but mm -hmm. in the right ways you know and it was so like i just wanted to fight you were in san diego training for that fight or no yeah 
I can't, I just yeah. flew out for it for for the training camp. And while you flew out there, you were still taking the antidepressants. Mm -hmm. And did did that fight convince you to stop taking them? Yeah. So after that fight, I went to uh, what did I do? I think I went to the. I was at the PI. I was working with Novinsky and people on like what to do about that. I UFC even talked to Gordon, Performance Institute. Dr. Gordon, mm -hmm. Mark Gordon. Yeah. To, um, help me with all of that too. Cause he thought there was a more conservative way to help me with those issues as well. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, you know, I was talking with him. I had him talk to them. Uh, they were all trying to figure out a way, but still there's like, there's no ways to even just naturally bring you up. Um, did you think about retiring? Yeah. And that, that's the thing is the center was really the place that was, is like, okay, I'm going to go here. I've tried everything else. I'm going to go here. And if they can't fix me, then, then I'm, I'm going to have to be done. How, 